Mecrinorina polyphemus confluence. I would like to check today and uh, the stage the larvae are in. I have a lot of boxes uh, to control today, but uh, mostly in the small boxes you can check from outside what they're doing. Now, if you see something like this on the bottom, um, let's see whether we can make it a little bit bigger here. This spot here on the bottom of the box, this is part of the pupal cell where the probably the larva is already inside preparing a pupal cell. With rose trevors, you shouldn't touch them in this stage if you try to control it and if there is a pupa coming out, it's very, very difficult uh, to bring them to emerge as um, healthy adults later. Mostly they die or they, they have uh, the deformations of the, of the body in some uh, way. So here you can see still a larva down here moving around. So this one we can check and see what it's doing here. Body famous. Confluence. It's a nice and big larva here. Very good. Looks healthy. No mites on the body. Let's clean here a little bit of the land and can give you a look at it. Now this is probably famous confluence. It a typical for rose chevers. They crawl on their back mostly like this. But of course here on the table it's a bit difficult to crawl completely on the back, but it's a nice larva. And you need some time to to finish uh, the development. So we probably, if you want, you can add some more uh, some more substrate that is good for those channels. That's especially a substrate where you have some leaves leaves in there like this material here it's rotten leaves that's what they like you can just put it on the back of the box some of the old material here on the top and you can put it back if you want to make them to grow to a really big size you can add if you like a dog food pellet or uh, a pellet of of manure what you like just give them something but um, if you don't want it you just put the material back and wait that's good for this animal that it was checked here too now let's go through it very quickly also here is a is a larva on the bottom so I think we should put this is powdery material here that's the whole thing, the larva chew, have, uh, have uh, chewed through, so it's very fine and compact and this would be a very good material also for the egg laying. It's, that, it's mostly what we call like a black soil. It's compact and very finely ground. That would be a nice material uh, to, to formulate a good um, soil for the egg laying also. Not only for uh, rose chavis, but also for rhinoceros beetles, for example. So now, we, of course, we need now a little bit more of this leafy material because if we have more larva to come, we also need a bit more material that they eat. Now here I have it. I'm happy to have this much of material, but I tell you, it costs you a lot of time to organize all that stuff. Um, and it needs some space to store it. You can store this leafy material outside in the garden, but not on the ground. I would hang it on a tree. That would be the best because then no worms are coming inside or the worms that are in, they fall out after some times. Or if you have a garage like here or a place outside of the, of the flat you're living in where you can put the material, that would be fantastic. So the lava looks great too. They seem to be around 25 grams, I would guess. So let's see how heavy they are now. Um, 
And now here you can see very typically that it's a male. There's a point here. This point here on the abdomen where you can see that this is a male. That's a little point. Now let's see whether I can show it to you with a, with a tip of a... It's this point here on the tip. Where this point? Yeah, here you see it. This small black point. That's a sign of a male. Now, it's 24.8. My guess was very good, huh? But after some time, you know how big they are when you keep them in your hand. 25 grams for a lot of them. Still eating, still moving around. You can add some you know, leaves or also if you want some other uh, material. So that's the way I have to go through all of these boxes now. Uh, just to check and to probably refeed the lorry. And I, in some seconds I'm going to tell you what I found in around in around these 20 now 30 boxes or more that I have now. What did we find? We found that the bigger lorry are in the bigger boxes. That's quite normal because it is a five liter box. It's ten times the size of the of this box, five hundred milliliter. Here they get until twenty five gram these are around 30 grams now, so it says that we could change the substrate either a little more here or we just could put them in a little bigger boxes, especially if they are uh, males. And um, you see that both of them, they are around 30 grams here, this, also this lorry. And also what you see in this lorry that uh, sometimes they get later in, this, in the, when they get older and they get closer to building their pupil, uh, chambers they look like if they are pumped up with air and they are filled with a lot of material that they use to build the structure of the pupil uh, cell. It's not yet c quite clear with this lorvas here but I have another one to show you where you can see how they look when they are uh, bigger. So where do I have it? Oh, here, yeah. This is probably a typic, more typical uh, to show you. This looks a little bit like it, like it would be pumped up with some air or whatever inside. And it means also if you look inside of the of the of the box, you can see. Let's see whether we can show it to you here under this microscopic lens a little better. If you look into this box, you can see that the larva started building uh, this oval structure inside of the material. And if you have a close look at it, you could also see that the larva started to posit some of this uh, of of the material to the sides of the wall here. And this is a kind of uh, if you can take it out now in this stage. It sticks together. It, it's building like a, it's like clay a little bit. Uh, so with the saliva of this larva, it builds the structure of this uh, pupil chamber. And after some time, the material of the pupil chamber starts to harden, like if it would it dries a little bit out. Uh, this uh, uh, saliva mixed together with the particles of the substrate, they built uh, like a, a concrete uh, surrounding of the pupil chamber. So that's the stage this larva is in. So we just put it back here and cover it slightly with a peat, with a piece of a wet peat pot before we put some more of the dirt material on top of it, otherwise so uh, that it can uh, go on finishing uh, that pupil chamber down here so and I also have seen some of the of the larvas that have already pupated and it's incredible how big they are in this pupil cell especially for the rose chavis they do not build big pupil chambers like rhinoceros chamber no in it's the contrary, they just build it as close as possible. And here you can also see already the wings 
and so on. And this is a very young, a very fresh pupa. You see it because it's completely white. And if they are a bit older, it slightly changes to uh, a brownish, reddish. And this larva here is not yet a finish, but it's already in the pupal cell. And you can see that it's still a larva because you see the spiracles here. Uh, of the larva, so this one is just preparing the moment to mold to a pupa. And so what we have seen is that we found to the, at around 10 uh, pupas or very close pre-pupa larvas and about 20 they are still larvas but in the last stage and something that you can see here if it looks like that on the top of the surface you if you can see the compressed uh, fecal pellets of the lava, that's a clear sign you should change the substrate and it's also a clear sign that the lava probably is it, it's pretty big here. We will clean it, have a look. Also here you can see in this stage it's pretty easy to see whether it's a male or not. Also you can see here, or here you can see this small spot here and uh, that's a sign. This is a male. Now let's look how Heavy it is, it's 25 grams. That's the size they can get in a box uh, like this. And what I do for that, I put in some more of this leafy material into the box, compress it a bit on the bottom. If you want, you can add a, a dog food pellet, put the lorry on top and add some fresh material or some of the materials from the other larva that has already um, pupated so we have to uh, wait what they are doing and I think with the ones that are already in pupas we put to a drier a place that could be pretty warm also it's not a problem 25 degrees something like uh, that and I think in one month they should be uh, emerged as adults and the larvas too you can check in around one month whether they have uh, pupated as I already said before you can check it in the small boxes that's one of the advantages from outside very easily so you don't have to dig them out all the time like I did now just to show you but you can just uh, wait and see in what stage they are by controlling the boxes from outside thanks for watching